Over the past few years, my family and I have circumnavigated the Mediterranean, crossed the Atlantic Ocean, sailed up the Caribbean island chain, and the southeast coast of America. This season, we've sailed down the Caribbean island chain, leaving from Charleston, South Carolina, with plans to stop for hurricane season in Grenada. All in all, we've racked up almost 30,000 nautical miles. This episode covers a Spanish Virgin Island and our arrival to St. John's, one of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Aside from creating weekly videos about our travel destinations, we also provide how-to videos and articles in addition to sailing guides for couples and families that want to take the exciting leap from living on land to becoming full-time live-aboard sailing cruisers. Please subscribe to this channel and make sure to visit Sailing Britican dot com to request one of our free guides. This is Florida. Down here is Puerto Rico. We are in the Calibra in the Spanish Virgin Islands. We are here. We're going to sail out round these reefs, up and around, round this other reef in Calabrita. And it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful in here. We can't wait to go there. They say it's a day anchorage, but I spoke to quite a few people and they say as long as it's not too windy, not too rough, you can stay easily overnight. So that's what we're going to try and do. We'll see you for an early afternoon beverage, over. Hi, that sounds great. Have the kids been doing okay? Yeah, they've been great, over. There's a big problem. I can't see where I'm going. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Thank you for having us, Melinda. Thanks for having us, Cleo. It was really good. Our friends on Pura Vida had to go to mainland Puerto Rico for a repair job. We offered to take the kids for a few days as we thought they'd enjoy touring the Spanish Virgin Islands, rather than sitting around a marina. The kids had a blast. We then received word that Pura Vida was rejoining us, and we decided to meet them in an anchorage off Coli Brita. And the kids all took turns at the helm. Hold it there. Hold it there. It's not like a car where you can keep the wheel exactly right. Do you, think, do you think Hayward knows how to drive a car? Do you know how to drive a car? Have you driven a go kart? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's like if you're driving a go kart, okay? And then you can see all this no, bit over so there. We definitely don't want to go over there. No, we definitely don't want to go over there to that green bit. Or, and, or the brown bit, yes. Yeah, so. We've got a natural helmsman here. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Well done. Can I try to drive this? And we're going between two reefs over. Oh, that's great. That's good extent for the guy. Initially, Simon asked Hayward to helm the boat because Hayward is prone to a bit of seasickness. One of the best remedies for seasickness is to get the inflicted to helm the boat. Similar to being in a car, people that often suffer motion sickness as a passenger are absolutely fine as a driver. Our short passage from one anchorage to the next only took an hour or so. Simon managed to get Katie Grace to help for quite some time and later our daughter Sienna was at the helm. When getting children accustomed to being on boats, it's a great idea to ask them to learn a variety of skills and boat handling skills is a key one. Okay, hold it there. See how the boat's moving around now? Upon the entrance of the harbor, it was extremely rocky for us. But once we were in, it was flat calm. It didn't take long to find a place to drop our anchor. Considering we almost had the entire bay to ourselves, we took our time to find a nice sandy patch to anchor in. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you going to give him big kisses and cuddles? Yeah? It's been four days? Yeah. I still want to have a sleep. You, do you want to stay here tonight? <laughs> You're supposed to go home to your own boat. <laughs> if you want a toy that the kids will spend hours on, make sure to get one of these floating patios. Once Pura Vida anchored, we all got in our dinghies and headed to the beach for a catch up and swim. The 
This anchorage speaks for itself. When you decide to sail in this area, make sure to check out the Spanish Virgin Islands and definitely drop a hook in this bag. So we've been invaded by this family. Oh. It's a key, a key yeah. sandwich. It's a key family. Hey, Edward, you are bony, man. You're bonier than me. <laughs> you gotta say something. Get in, get in, Kate. Okay. Everything was fine. This, this lazy thing. The lady, and for the lady who's feeling ill for breakfast, she's having hot dog with American cheese ketchup. and ketchup. For breakfast. to go and um, so we've come from one country to the next country and we're just going to go in and uh, have a party. Any excuse? Right here's Florida, here's Puerto Rico and we're in this lovely bay here of Calabrita. We're going to come out and we're sailing to the Virgin Islands. Oops sorry. And here is St. Thomas. We're going to miss St. Thomas out. And we were planning to go to St. John's. And then on the way, Pura Vida, we're talking about going to a party in Jos van Dijk, which is up here. We, but that's in the British Islands. Because we were already booked into America because of Puerto Rico, we didn't have to rebook into the US Virgin Islands because we were already booked in America. But if we'd gone to Jos van Dijk, we would have had to book in at uh, the UK. But in British Virgin Islands, but then go back to St. John's and then we'd have had to rebook in and it was just for one night's party. We just didn't think it was worth it. So that's why you see us coming up here where we decided and then we came back down instead of taking the, the easier route through here. And we picked up a mooring boy here because the park rangers have decided to make them free. And that was very nice of them to bring back more customs after the hurricane. And it's just beautiful. We've been here before and you can dinghy around to this into this bay here and um, use all the services in there and and some beautiful restaurants with some fantastic food. So we, it's one of our most favorite places to be. We took a quick dinghy ride into the town. If you're familiar with the islands, that's the old customs building and the light blue building on the main street is missing quite a few maybe one or two stories there the dinghy dock used to be by the ferry terminal but that's now over by the visitor center it's a lot smaller and can be hard to get a spot it was difficult to see all the hurricane damage but i have to say that within five minutes of being on land i knew that it still had the amazing vibe it always has had Make sure to subscribe to see our next episode where we'll show you around Cruz Bay, take a ferry trip to St. Thomas where we meet an incredibly cool sea lion and several other animal friends. We'll then take you to Francis Bay, an incredibly awesome place to chill out, swim, take walks along the beach, or head inland to check out breathtaking views. And let's not forget views under the sea. We'll take you to Leinster Bay, where we have a blast enjoying colorful reef fish. We then anchor in a hurricane hole next to Coral Bay and enjoy a meal on land. <laughs>